What kind of show is it? The guy <laughs> asks you questions, doesn't let you And you won't answer them. them. You're like a sick human. Man. You are a psychopath. Look at look at look at he's laughing. No. You are look at 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 your family life. You know, people read the, the Us magazine. They love gossip. They love uh, personal stories. Tell us about your family, your daughters, and what you and the family do, you know, for, for life. My wife and I have been married for 13 years. Congratulations, sir. I have slept with the same woman for 17 years. I go on radio on a regular basis, and I inform people of this because I think that this is a very moral thing to do to marry someone and stick with them and stick by them and make a partnership in life think that's shocking tom not at all i think that's very good you married I, I, no i'm not i would you dump your wife two yeah, or three times dumped her two or three times right, left her yeah. without a quarter this is passed. mr morality he's worried about my morality if everybody sat and worried about themselves and their own morality tom's probably fornicating every night with different starlets out in hollywood and different genders too put that down well and that'll leave up and say oh you know, do, do one of those. We're going to put you on the dating game. <laughs> not yours, you're not. Well, maybe you're ready he's, starting, he's starting to laugh again. All, All right, right, go ahead. But I think it's great that you have this side of your life that your listeners and that the viewers of your television program hear about. That's right. That they know in the midst of all the zaniness, all the humor, there is a reality to Howard Stern that they don't often see. Like you got kids, right? That's right. Yeah, and and you. you That's play. the reality of the radio show. Let me tell you something that my shows, my television or uh, radio show, deal with the realities of family life. It deals with raising two children. It's a father knows best from hell. What's been the toughest part of raising your two children? Well, for a, you know, it's kind of difficult when you uh, you happen to be on the radio. When you happen to be highly recognized, and uh, that's kind of interesting when you want to just go somewhere with your kids in a park and people come up. And, Example, you know, what happens in those situations? Well, what happens is a lot of people come up, they're thrilled about the show, they want to talk about the show, right. but you're trying to spend a little free time with your kids, and it's hard right. to pay attention when you're sitting there with, you know, Rebecca Schaefer's murderer in front of your face, so you're trying to... You know, you're trying to keep... You've got a hang-up on that, don't you? Well, I mean, for God's sakes, to tell me that I'm responsible for I didn't like say that. you were. I no, said you were alluding kind of to logic, it. But you're wacky. Why do you keep going back to it? So now you're, you're in the... Shocking you're shocking. You're in the park with your daughters. What are their names? What is the difference? What, what do you want to date them now, Tom? You're seven and four for crying out loud. What's the point? Emily and Deborah. All right. Two normal names. Not son of Satan. <laughs> you understand? Right. Oh, very good. All I right. like that. Thank you. That's, That's funny. funny. That's right. funny. Well, I'm glad you're you're. So uh, you're amused. in the park with Evelyn and Deborah. Right. Swing senile. Doesn't I tell him right. the name and he still don't remember. Yeah, Doesn't know where I broadcast Evelyn. Evelyn. Who names a child Evelyn? This is gonna be really tough for you to believe. Yeah, go ahead. Really tough, but people used to know who I was, and they come over and interrupt playtime with my daughter Annie, okay? Right. And you're right, it was a very, very difficult time. See, we're relating. Exactly. Isn't we're this trying nice? to get to know each other. All right, we're getting... What else in Howard, Stern, Howard Stern's life? What other, what other normalcies do you have in life that you share with all the people that listen to you and watch you? Oh, boy, Tom, this is some exciting interview. Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. This is well, it sure it. beats being yelled at. I'll, I'll tell you that. that. Okay, so what is different and amusing about my no, wife, no, what's my no, life, my wife? Normal, normal. Well, I think I'm the one who doesn't I'm pay a man attention. who must go to bed at 8 o'clock every night because I get up at 4 in the morning, mm -hmm. and it doesn't leave a whole lot of time for me to have sex with my wife. All right. Okay. All that's, right. That's, Would right. you like to hear about hey, that? Wait. Let me do the act right. Oh, fair enough, sir. Okay. okay. There, there, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's yeah. move on. Well, yeah. Right. It doesn't leave me a whole lot of time. Do you realize how big I'm going to be in Los Angeles? And then when you and and Mrs. Stern go out, Mrs. Satan. Yes. I'm sure that people come over and they want to you know touch you and 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 and. and they idolize they, me. They, I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. a guy who yeah. keeps them entertained. Yeah. Yes, that's true. There's not a whole lot of celebrities in New York. So one of the things that's difficult about being Howard Stern. You don't smoke a cigarette anymore. Not anymore. No. All right, there you go. Yeah, I'm missing that. I still do the last. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yeah. right. I thought the Dan Aykroyd thing was a scream. Fabulous. And that's what turned me on to you. Yeah. But do you think it ruined your career? No, it didn't ruin my career you think at it all. It made you a joke. It made me. Um, it, hey, imitation is the sincerest form. Look at all the people that imitate your style on radio, That's coast true. to coast. That is all very right. true. Yeah. Okay. They all want to be Howard Stern. And what a but dream. They, but they're not funny. Right. Okay, they're not inventive. 
Go ahead. And they're not sincere. Well, that's, that's why you're the king. I'm the king. And they're nothing. And that's right. Okay. We're with Howard Stern. And, and you're going to watch the commercial, and, 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 and we're going to soul kiss now these messages. Jeez. Oh, I want to see this one. You are what is wrong with television. <laughs>